Hi, I'm Rachel Anderson, and I'm a physics major, class of 2025 at Stony Brook University. I'm working with Professor Leo in the College of Arts and Sciences, and I'm researching how to develop a tunable laser for imaging techniques. So the bigger study of this lab is to better technology. A lot of the materials inside phones are semiconductors, and a lot of these materials are very small. So we study 2D semiconductor materials and also materials like graphene, and we like to see the interactions of the surface of these materials and how it interacts with light. So this summer, I'm working on developing a tunable laser. Tunable meaning that it can be tuned from different wavelengths that we need. So how we did this was we have a laser beam hit a dye, the dye fluoresces, and we want to trap the dye in this optical cavity using two mirrors. And then when it comes out of the cavity, it's ready to be used in our setup. My dad was always super interested in computer engineering. And when I first got to Stony Brook, I immediately jumped into research because I knew that I wanted to go into grad school. And I did something related to neutrino physics, which is a lot of coding, a lot of C++. And my dad was very excited about it, but I realized that I didn't like it that much. So last summer, I decided that I don't care if it maybe takes a little bit longer for me to get some work done, maybe get published, but it doesn't matter because I really like what I'm doing now and my dad's happy for me. Being a Malay Fellow was very helpful because I had a group, a very small group of people that I could talk to individually. I made a lot of friends in the program and these women are really smart and really motivated and we could definitely talk about how being a woman in STEM was difficult but also very rewarding. This research changed the course of my life because I think that instead of going to grad school for a PhD like I originally intended, I think that I want to just do a master's and I think that because I like working with my hands and understanding what people have already come up with that I would like to just build things because that's what I like to do and I think that's going to affect what I do with my career a lot. I would like to thank the Francis Fillet Fellowship Program as well as the Panafil Foundation and the Physics and Astronomy Barish Eureka Award for funding everything as well as the College of Arts and Sciences for organizing all of this and making this possible for me.